Kenneth Law faces charges of, of first-degree murder and counseling suicide in connection to the deaths of 14 people in Ontario. And he's asking the Supreme Court of Canada to review the rules around murder and assisted suicide. Law is accused of selling online suicide kits with lethal chemicals to people from more than 40 countries. Investigations are also underway in the U.S., the U.K., New Zealand, and other Canadian provinces. Now, to break down what this means and the legal repercussions that could follow, let's bring in criminal defence lawyer Kim Schofield. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Uh, outline for us in more detail what Law's lawyers are asking the Supreme Court of Canada to review. Okay. <clears throat> it actually is a little uh, complicated because Law's case is not before the Supreme Court of Canada. Is not. So what's happened is there's a case from the Ontario Court of Appeal called BF. And that is a case that's about administering a noxious substance. And part of that Court of Appeal decision was a decision about the suicide context and what it would take for someone charged with aiding and abetting suicide in order to be convicted of a murder. So this, the Court of Appeal of Ontario opined on this. So they wrote something on this. And the Crowns didn't like what they wrote and, and thought it was contrary to public policy. So the Crowns in the BF case appealed to the Supreme Court of Canada. And then Law's lawyers heard about this and because the Court of Appeal talked about the suicide context, the uh, Court of Appeal uh, is then uh, uh, appealed to the Supreme Court of Canada and then Law's lawyers want to join along. They want to have a say in how suicide or assisting suicide is interpreted in the murder context. So it's a little complicated, but Law's lawyers are applying for uh, the ability to speak on that issue. I'm glad that we had you explain that to us, uh, Ms. Schofield, but in a brief, his lawyers also said this, assisting suicide is not murder. Mr. Law is not alleged to have been present at any of the deaths. He is not alleged to have deceived the victims into unwittingly ending their own lives. So when you read that through and interpret for us, what is his legal team trying to prove here? So the legal team is trying to say this doesn't, uh, on the definition of how murder could be committed in the suicide context, this doesn't qualify as murder, and therefore the charge of murder should not be proceeded with, and this rather should be assisting the commission of suicide, which is what he was originally charged with. So the defense is saying, look, this is a stretch for the Crown to be proceeding on this, and it is not available uh, in law to have someone found guilty in this context. So in other words, in selling uh, or in counseling the commission of a suicide when you're not present, when you're not, uh, when, when, the, when, when you don't have the ability to undermine an individual's free choice. Next September, Kenneth Law is going to face a murder trial for 14 people in Ontario. How could a Supreme Court decision affect that trial? So if the Supreme Court decides to rule expansively, so to, to really define that the law as it applies to suicide, it very much could affect uh, whether or not this is even put to a jury in the first place, whether or not it's even possible in these circumstances to be uh, convicted of a murder. So it very much, even though it's not Mr. Law's case, right. this is a common law jurisdiction. So, so the laws are interpreted the same in every case. So then what could uh, a possible outcome in this decision mean for future suicide and assisted suicide laws? Well, that they would be charged as uh, aiding and abetting the commission of suicide. So, so in other words, as he was originally charged. So this is not uh, a murder charge anymore, uh, but rather a, a lesser charge that is tailored uh, to the commission of suicide, to aiding and abetting the commission of suicide, which is already a unlawful act according to the criminal code. So it, unless, of course, the Supreme Court of Canada says no, a more expansive approach uh, than the actual assisting in a, in a physical or direct way. So, so it really, the Supreme Court of Canada could expand that. And, and uh, that's what the Crown attorneys want. The Crowns want 
uh, murder to apply to these circumstances, where it is not only foreseeable but contemplated that uh, these, uh, um, the, both the substance and the kits are used solely for that purpose. What fascinates you most as you watch and wait for this decision? Well, murder is a very particular charge, uh, and, it, and it is the most serious of all charges. So really, as a public policy, we have to consider whether, we no whether or not we want someone like Kenneth Law to be considered a murderer. I mean, that, that's really uh, the, the, the plain language here, mm -hmm. is is he as guilty of a murder as someone who stabs someone in the chest or hires someone to do that. And many would say yes. Uh, Kenneth Law is not only facing criminal prosecution in Ontario, we mentioned there are other provinces, but there are investigations in the United States, in the United Kingdom, and in New Zealand. Could this have any impact on those international investigations or perhaps future charges? Uh, yes, yes. So... <clears throat> The Kenneth Law could face prosecution for acts that are committed here or acts that are committed uh, in foreign jurisdictions as long as a portion of the commission of those acts occurred here. So it's really up to foreign jurisdictions uh, and the Canadian government because the Canadian government could decide to actually prosecute these charges here. But if they decide not to, and it seems like the prosecutions are not proceeding on uh, foreign nationals. So it seems very much open and potentially uh, likely that other jurisdictions would request his extradition. But keep in mind, the offense for which he is prosecuted in a foreign jurisdiction must also be an offense here. So if the Supreme Court of Canada says this is not murder on Canadian soil, then he cannot be extradited for a murder charge, but he could be extradited for aiding and abetting suicide. Fascinating conversation this morning. Kim Schofield, a criminal defense lawyer, thank you so much for coming on your morning. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. If you liked that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning.